Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Seas. In the last episode we picked up some clay men from Polythrain and well some stuff for the Admiralty as well if I remember correctly and now I'm trying to find a mirror catch box here in the Carnet so I think it's time that we spend a little bit of time here in the Carnet. Now from what I remember the place where I it's not the Copper Quarter in the Khan's Heart it's the Khan's Shadow is where we need to go and that should in theory, be down here somewhere, yes. When we get here, hopefully the mirror cache box isn't like a thousand echoes, because that would suck quite badly. Another thing we need to try and do is decrease our suspicion with the Carnet Special Forces, whatever their name is, so we can uh, instill some sort of network here in the Khan. Net. I just use my light? There we go. And we'll dock. Khan's Shadow. Long ago, the Khan had turned its back on its warrior traditions. It has no place for pirates and would-be nomads. So here, in the shadow, the exiles make their home amid a hundred wrecked, grounded, decommissioned ships. Well, worst case scenario, we can compile a port report. Uh, convincing, debauching, speechifying. Drinking, singing, speeching, poeting. Now and then, a drunken duel. Very occasionally, a savage ritual murder. Oh. This place seems pretty fun. Oh, well, no one sells it here, do they? Empty mirror catch box. There we go. That's just what we needed, isn't it? A mirror catch box. Clay men from Polythrene. And then we need to go to Hunter's Keep, but 200 goes, my god. Oh, well, we'll buy one, and we have it. I don't think there's much I can do here, though. Bit of a shame. Let's just, while we're here, let's pop up into Khan's Glory and see if we can do something to increase our favor with said Khanet. I'm not entirely sure. Oh. Let's not annoy that. I imagine it's quite painful. Even though my combat prowess has improved, I'd rather not test my metal, per se, against such a big ship. I imagine it'll rip me in half. At least not until I have to, anyway. Right, let's pop in here. I think we can go onto this bridge, yes? Yes, we can. Carnet is such a cool design place. Like in both of the games, Sun the Seasons on the Skies, the uh, the Carnet is like my favourite place. <laughs> well, less lights here. I mean, there is still lights, but in uh, in Skies, it looks a lot more like a uh, oh, neo district. Let's put it that way. A place of stately isolation. Here, the palaces of the Khan and his court, each a fortress to itself. Sleek lords and ladies in belted robes breakfast on balconies. An unlikely antelope peeks at you from a park. Guns rotate easily on motorized gimbals. Literally nothing. Hmm. Wow. What do we need? We need le leopards? Condescension. And a gift. So if we have dark drop coffee beans, maybe we can gain some favor with this man? But otherwise, there's nothing we can do here. Hmm. Okay, well, guess I'll ignore this for now, and we will be heading back. To Hunter's Keep, which is oddly enough the other end of the blooming map. Uh, what's Wanderer's Haven? I guess that's just one of the parts of the Khan's Shadow. Hunter's Keep, yep, it's literally there. Okay, well, we can cut through that big bit of black. See if there's anything interesting there. Oh, turn, turn. Yeah, we made it. It's fine. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is crash this wonderful ship. I'd definitely like to get a bigger engine in this thing. 
Which is why we're doing this story in the first place, I suppose, uh, the timeless mechanic. I'm pretty sure he's the one who gives us the better engine. I hope. Please don't see me. Or if you do see me, please don't be... Frick. Engaging, I guess? Do we try it? Oh, bloody hell. Alright, hang on. Battle stations! Ow. This is not a good way to not piss off the car, I just want to point that out. But he did shoot first. Kind of. Did I shoot first? I can't remember. This is why I should never be a soldier. I think he shot first. Got him! Ha 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 ha! You've destroyed a war? Trimarian. Shattered, listing, seize what you can. Uh, take what you can in prison or cut down any carnets that remain. What do we Damn it! Ah, <laughs> uh, you've won no favour with the carnet here today. Take whatever you can. I don't know why I expected that to go any other way. Stout crate. Did, you, did we seriously just get one fuel? Okay, well, I'm never fighting them ever again. What a, what a horrible haul. I was expecting something nice. Oh, well. You gotta kill everything at least once, right? Damn it. I have to lower that suspicion now in the carnet. That's the only way we can increase our chances of getting the intel. Uh, the spies in place, I believe. Didn't see any obvious ways of lowering it, though. But I'm doing one problem at a time. I'll do the, I'll do the timeless mechanics quest, or as much as I can, anyway. Now, then I'll go back there. Oh, my boat is bigger than I thought it was. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a crack pirate steam pinnace. Let's let's take it on. Oh. Oh, gonna hit me. Oh no, we got him. If I get more from a pirate frigate than I did the Carnet's personal guards, well, the, the Carnet's police force, I suppose, uh, I'm gonna be upset. That stout crate again. Two fuel! Yeah, well, this one's not gonna run out of fuel anytime soon. And we've, un we've unlocked a big chunk of map now, so there isn't a big black blob in the middle of everything. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't like having black blobs on my maps. It's very upsetting. I realize my microphone's probably in the wrong place. Oh well. If I sound weird, that would be why. I got up really late today and I was like, oh god, I need to record. <laughs> so, it was a little panic starting, but I'm good. This is pre-caffeine, so... Oh, God. Um, uh, I don't want to go through that. It's probably easier to go under the waves than it is. Through that fog bank. I do need to spend more time under, under the Z. Let's just keep us this way. We, I think we can ride the uh, these waves, these currents. Right with that? That looks interactable. No? Ooh, that's some shiny stuff. What's this? Skull? A, a school of fish? A skull? What the bloody hell's a skull? The Z's bounty sustains us. Plus one supplies. Wow, that's really good. I genuinely think this current. I wonder if you could use this current to transverse the map. Oh, hang on a minute. Now it's not doing anything. Full steam ahead? In fact, I'm actually going slower in it. What's going on? Yeah, it was like slowing me down. Weird. There we go. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, okay. I thought it was going to like spin me around. That would have sucked. Okay, so Hunter's Keep should be just up here. I wonder how far that goes back. That is a valid 
uh, strategy to see if that goes like halfway to the map and we can work out where it starts we could ride that current all the way back to London and it may in fact be quicker and easier than doing it on top of the sea but that's a theory we did a hunter's keep relatively quickly though there's no denying that a hump of dark rock, swathed in mist, like a hundred other Untersee Islands. Oh. Why can I not do this? I have everything. We will need, the mechanic tells the sisters, to visit your sub -cellar. Maybe I have to have lunch with them? Have lunch in with Lucy. Lucy's the middle sister. Sunny, restless, prone to giggles. Lost 10 terror, gained more supplies, lost the hunger, and stone's attention. I want stone, I want salt. Oh, this is where I find out if I went for a different one, I could have got salt's attention, right? Uh, Lucy leans over and whispers to you confidentially a complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in an attic and the butler in a vicar's bed. Candles flicker, dishes enter and leave, and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful as you've been in months. Up to that house. The hall is dark, the parlour too. There are signs of disturbance here and there. A smashed cup, an overturned piano stool, scratches on the walls. You bend to pick up a page of paper and hold it to the light. It's an unfinished poem. You think the handwriting may be... I've forgotten how to say it. I've been told how to say that multiple times, and it, it it's not Phoebe. <laughs> the absent moon, the gnawing hunger in the heart, the well, the sea, a great many crossings out. There are sounds from downstairs, from the kitchen you push open the door, cautiously. Nothing clings to the ceiling, nothing turns yellow eyes to you and hisses. Uh oh. Uh oh! The thing in the kitchen. The yellow eyed maid clings to the ceiling like a lizard, fierce and wiry in her ragged uniform. She hisses furiously. When you advance a step, she scurries away to the far end of the room, still on the ceiling, weeping. 62% chance to coax her down. 69%? Nice. Uh, to catch her. We're going to go with the catcher. She's dangerous and somehow you suspect you may not have much time. Let's roll those dice. It's like trying to get a jaguar out of a tree. Three of your crew are badly bitten. But at last you restrain her and she lies on the table. Glaring and growling. What now? You try to question her. Those poor sailors, she spits. You realise that in all the time you spent at Hunter's Keep, she had never spoken. The poor sailors. I didn't come here for this. Damn them to the well. With a serpentine wriggle, she's free of the net. She returns to the ceiling in one inhumane leap. Hmm. Okay, now I have an issue. I came here expecting to be able to do the mission, and now I can't seem to do it. But let's do... Let's see if we can search the house. Discover whatever you can about what happened here. Bedrooms, bathrooms, the breakfast room, the servant stairs. All empty of life. 
The long case clock at the top of the stairs ticks like a heart. Outside, the sea sighs. We failed. Oh, I can just do it again. There we go. A distant song. You cock your head and listen. Someone is singing a woman's voice. Soft o'er the fountain. Ling ring falls the southern moon. The sound takes you up the winding stairs to the turret at the back of the house. You try the door at the top. Locked. The sound ceases. It was Phoebe's voice. You call out to her. What's happened? We wanted their stories, she explains reasonably. We only wanted their stories in the beginning. We got so starved for stories out here. But then, Lucy, Lucy, he breaks down in sobbing. Want us to break down that door, you bosun, whispers. While you're considering the answer, one of your crew swears and points. Smoke is leaking from beneath the door. I deserve an ending, Phoebe calls out. When you press your hand to the door, you can feel the heat in your palms. Oh, good. God, the house on Hunter's Keep is aflame. Uh, The fire begins in Phoebe's turret room, but it spreads quickly. Zaylers tumble, choking from the door as the smoke billows out. The yellow-eyed maid leaps from a window and streaks across the lawn on all fours. Uh, we have a 50% chance to save her. I'm gonna go. Let's try. I got an achievement. The fall of the house. A bucket chain passes up water from the Z. Enough to slow the flames a fraction and to soak the cloths you wrap yourself in. You dash through the flames, your skin crisping, eyebrows sizzling, your hair grows back patchy after. Phoebe is slumped against the wall. You seize her, sling her over a shoulder and dash out. The spine of the house breaks with a roar as the roof falls in. Sparks fly up towards the false stars so far above. The death of the house takes hours, but it is total. Only a cindered shell remains. Phoebe weeps when she wakes, racking sobs that shake her body. You should have left me. It's all that she will say for the longest time. Her face is horribly burned. She goes bandaged after, like the half-dead of the tomb colonists. Perhaps she's half-dead herself. It can be difficult to tell in the Oh no, we lost one crew, and we gained the Scarred Sister. She was the youngest sister of the Hunter's Keep 3. Now her home is gone. We will not show her face, nor speak of what occurred, but she's prepared to use her education to help heal your crew. Ah, oh, okay. And the house on Hunter's Keep is a blackened shell. We have one port report. Oops. And... Is she an officer? She is. Arts plus five and a doctor aboard. She's not quite as good as uh, the Cladry Air, but I guess she's easier to get if you actually come here a few times. Oh, damn it, I needed one more supply. <sighs> I guess I needed two, because I got one more from... The dinner. Right, hang on. We're just popping into London. <laughs> oh, I bet you that was there before. Before I burnt down Hunter's Keep. But wow, it has changed the graphics on the map. Which is really cool. That is definitely the end of Hunter's Keep, I guess. Except for what happens in the basement. Which I guess we'll find out, well, soon. Hopefully. That was a slight side distraction I had not anticipated. <laughs> Where else am I going to deliver my news? Right, let's dock here. We need, what, five supplies? So if I pick up more than five, obviously. 
Oh, that's Mechanics Quest. It's costing me a packet. Oh, I was told I should probably sell all this rubbish. But I'm going to check the rose market first. Nope. I don't want anything that I have. Okay, so if I just go into the shops and just sell stuff, I guess. Uh, except the mutter. I was warned about selling the mut mutter salt, but I can sell the Sintelac. That's worth 70 echoes. I've been carrying that Stygian ivory forever. I guarantee you I'm going to sell this stuff and then I'm going to need it. We've got spider silk and one bale of parabola linen. Money! Oh yeah, I should have stayed in the shop because now I need to buy... Two, three, four, five. Is that another hundred echoes worth of stuff? Ah, Head straight back. A hundred echoes worth of food? 250 echoes for the mirror catch box. A hundred echoes for the supplies required. This is a very expensive endeavor, Mr. Mechanic. At least give him some... Like, you could have at least donated to the cause, you know? Would have worked out quite well. Can't we uh, should have lowered my terror really? Oh well. That was a spur of the moment. I must go to the hunter's keep. Or must go back to London to get the supplies I need. Hunter's keep in ruins. Here we go. No? Ah! <laughs> I thought I didn't see the Foxfire candles, you absolute bloody moron. Okay, hang on. For God's sake, man. Pay attention. This is how you know the caffeine hasn't kicked in yet. That's all I'm going to say. At least, it's, at least it's London. It's right there. If this, was any, if this was the other side of the map, I would be so angry with myself right now. Uh, quality content right here. Oh, it could be worse. I don't actually mind. I can say. I just want to get into the story. So I need one Foxfire candle. I should have checked if there's anything else, but I think I have everything else I need. I hope. all these foxfire candles and things for going to Nuncio, but... Is that 40 echoes for a foxfire candle? Damn, this, this is expensive, man. All of my money. Being drained by this man. And again, I, I, I think I've got enough solid ways of making money now. Like, I can run Red Honey, or I can... Uh, well, I suppose Vital Intelligence and stuff. I can sell that. I don't use it for... Spies. Didn't help I just spent a ton of money on this new boat, but this new boat has already like made the game so much easier for me because I can I feel like I can actually fight, which is nice. Whereas before I was just terrified I was gonna get crumpled into a few small pieces. The hull is a little bit damaged, I should probably do something about that. If it falls too low, we start taking damage to the crew. Right, I'll just keep it ruins. Here we go. Right, the mechanic says. That's uh, a problem. The pool we need is down there, he points to the ruins. I'm afraid we'll need to do some digging. I'm guessing I need these because of the, uh, the whole burning down thing. I don't remember seeing those before, but who knows. Neath Hunter's Keep. It takes a full day to clear away sufficient ruins to reach the cellars. In the deepest sub-cellar, your candles illuminate a litter of tumbled stones, the remnants of a temple. The signs on the stones have a Carganian look. A pool at the cellar's center is almost dry. The remaining water there seethes oddly in the candlelight, as if it were near boiling, but it's quite cool to the touch. The driving river flows near here, the mechanic remarks, one of the tributaries of Dream, 
My enemies find me when I sleep, but this water will attract my enemies to this poor fellow. He bends to dip his hand in the water and sketches a sign on the clay man's forehead. The man watches him stolidly. The mechanic hands him the mirror catch box. Hold this, he says. Keep it open, don't let go, no matter what happens. The clay man's huge hands enfold the box. There, the mechanic says, turning to you. A serpent trap. Now I can sleep, I can finally sleep. He smiles. And then I think I may be able to offer you something rather interesting. Okay. <laughs> the clay man, this clay man looks confused as it grasps the mirror catch box in his great grey hands. It would look a lot more confused if it knew what to expect. Guessing? I'll pick over the ruins of the house while I'm here. Oops, wrong button. Fungus and cavern vines are already reclaiming the ma mansion. No one has come to reclaim Hunter's Keep, despite its proximity to London. The place has an eerie reputation. It's difficult to see why. Today, the place is as peaceful as a folly in a park. The air is still. Far across the water, the lights of London glow. Oh, we got an outline just artifact of things. That's not so bad. If I talk to the... Uh, Tireless mechanic. There we go. Allow the mechanic to enjoy his sleep. It might be messy, he warns you. Could you have a couple of strong sailors standing by? Tell them to snap the box shut when the trouble begins. He holds up a deep he holds up a bottle of laudanum. I will be sleeping deeply. When nothing seems to be happening, you take to your own bunk, but a roar from the clay man brings you sprinting back to the mechanic's cabin. You fling open the door. The man's eyes seethe with viric flame. It's struggling against the efforts of the Zaylers to restrain it. As you rush to assist it, it flings one Zayla off, but the other manages to snap the box closed. Instantly, the man goes stiff a lifeless clay statue. The viric glow now pulsates from the box. In the bunk, the mechanic sleeps on, his face wreathed in dreamy smiles. He will sleep until morning. You now have a mirror catch box full of very angry dream snakes. <laughs> oh, for the love of God. Well, you know, let's ask the mechanic to explain exactly what the hell is going on. Well, it's like this. I stole a secret from the Echo Bazaar. With the help of the Finger Kings. You know, the serpents who rule dreams. Then, I reneged on the Finger Kings. Don't look at me like that. Would you rather I'd given them the secret? Oh my god, the Pigs of Stone. I've done an, uh, an exceptional story about the Pigs. I talk about engines all the time, I'm sure you've noticed, and I dream about them. I found myself dreaming of the stone pigs. They're... oh, I don't entirely understand, still, but they're how the bazaar travels between stars. You know they did that? And they sleep, so the Finger Kings can crack their dreams open. So the Finger Kings recruited me. I found a secret in those dreams, an engine like the Z is never seen. Oh, Captain, Captain, let me build it for you. You won't be sorry. But there are some things I'll need. I know, I know. Isn't it always the way? What do you need? Huh. Okay. Well, we are coming up to the point where I need to end the episode, but I felt like that was going to give me a quest or a journal entry or something, and I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it will be when we have another 
event pop up. But either way, this does seem like the perfect place for me to end this episode. We managed to achieve a little bit. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.